So I got another axe in the mail today, and I'm, I'm actually pretty humbled. Uh, this is the third one that Craig Roost and the folks over at Council Tools has sent me. I, I'm very humbled by this, and I really do appreciate it. I still owe you two videos now. So this is number three. Let's take a look at it. This, oh, that's nice. Nice little product card. Awesome. This is the new Velvacut saddle axe made by Council Tools. Oh, that is so nice. This is not the 130th commemorative anniversary axe. I missed out on that one. I kind of wish I hadn't. But um, I'm still happy with this one. This is awesome. Perfectly, uh, perfectly sized for the backpack. Got some nice quality leather to go with it. The console tool stamp in USA on the. That's the one thing I really appreciate. These guys are in the USA and now they're marketing. They're stepping up their game and they're coming out with a really awesome set of products. I asked Craig for some info on this axe. I knew it was coming. Two pound head, 5160 steel. Left side has a 25 degree flat grind and the other side has a 32 degree on the right for splitting. And this side has a thicker cheek. This thing is just freaking awesome. I like how you can take this off with one hand too. It's got a cruiser size eye for future handle replacements if you need to. God, that is just... Look at this son of a gun. That's the right hand side. It's the thicker... It's got thicker cheeks. Look at that. That is considerably... And it's all you have to do is line up the stamp, the USA stamp, with the thicker side. That way you'll always know which side you're using. You can see there's still some of the little heat treating marks left. They're faint, but they're visible. I love, and it always razor sharp. Let's take it outside. Alright, what do we got here? It takes a... It takes a little bit of oomph because of the short handle. But I tell you what, it's got it. It's got the power to go through it. So, like I said, right side has a thicker cheek. The USA side. And that's white oak. This wood came from a fellow around the corner. I refinished one of his uh, hatchets for him. Oh yeah, Craig, Patty said thank you. I gotta split wood this weekend because we're gonna get cold weather. Um, it would appear that I'm not making it through all the firewood. I'm really holding back. It's not the fault of the ax. It's my fault because I'm afraid of breaking new stuff. See? See? what I tell ya? I hate doing stuff like that. But if you put some oomph behind it, it will go through. So yeah, last weekend it was zero degrees. Now it's freaking uh, Wednesday and it's 75 degrees out. Welcome to North Texas. So the question has come up earlier this week regarding oil versus water on wet stones. See, I, I got this. I got this wet stone here. My vote goes for water, and there's a couple different reasons for that. You can get water out of any stream, bucket of water, drinking water. I'm all out of Chardonnay, so sorry. But uh, once you go to oil, you can't go back.
So the second reason to use water and not oil is when you uh, get the stone wet to flush away the grit that's been used up in the metal shavings, you're going to need a lot of oil and you really don't want to be putting that all over Mother Nature. So, And honestly, how much are you going to bring out with you? The grit on this thing is amazing. Rough side, smooth side, and this side pretty aggressive right here. So it'll take off all those little nicks and those rolls. And the thing I like about this axe, there's enough flat spot here that you can you can really get a good coverage on. You don't you don't have to figure out where the flat spot is. It's right there. It's a half inch wide. Let me put this camera at a different angles so you can see. Tell me you can see that. That's gorgeous. Bingo, all done. So craftsmanship on this thing, not that bad at all. Vertical grain on mine. I don't see any gaps whatsoever in here. Very good finish on the steel. I love the pitting on the back. Some folks say it's not flat enough, but you know what? It gives it character, it makes it your own. The top side sanded. Yeah, and, and it's very uh it's very common for you to see the ring-shaped wedges in there. I really don't mind. I used to hate them, but uh, after using a couple axes with those on them, uh, I, I don't really mind them at all. Very nice. So in addition to the maintenance that I do out there, I also like to do a little long-term storage maintenance. So what I'll do is I'll heat this up with a torch and put a little beeswax on it. I'm not ruining the temper of the blade. All I'm doing is making it hot enough to melt the wax and get the humidity off of it. Always got to get some in the relief cuts. Make sure you get along the top here. I don't try to put any on the wood at all. And she's done. To expedite the cooling down, I actually put it in the fridge. Hey, <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs>